Blessings, welcome for the reasonings right here at the Trail Life. We're actually at Trail Life Drama School, Edna Manley College. There is the heavens up there, all covered over and covered over. Back in the day, that was our rest spot from when we were reasoning a lot here. And we felt a little tired and we wanted to lie down. We went up there, you know, so as not to disturb the reasoning down here. And yes, there was no bars like this, you know. That's a whole other story as to why that bar um, got there because these were like seats like these as all this table is the seats were like that all the way around and we could we could lie down on it at times but mostly in the nights we would but in the days it was reserved for you know the people sitting reasoning so welcome once again to reasonings right here with your life i'm your host Talakul the great owl and yeah this is a place where a lot of my sense of well-being purpose destiny came into fruition this is where down there, a little distance from this tree, the lignum vitae, which is actually called the tree of life. And when we called it this, when I was saying tree of life, I wasn't specifically referring to this tree. This tree later on became tree of life because literally it's a tree that was down there called a clammy cherry tree. And we used to gather under the tree. It was like an umbrella. It stretched all the way from, the, from about this area all the way down because you should touch this tree. Right? So it stretched all the way from this tree to a couple of the trees over there and to the fence. There were a lot more trees here. And I'll give a little pun later on so we can see what I'm talking about. But it was much more um, like a little forest in the city. And so peace, quiet, calmness, coolness of body temperature was always a thing, right? And plus you had the students who are tree life, plus the workers who were tree life as well too. And sometimes faculty that was tree life as well too. So we became this kind of a radical organization because anybody that was seemingly going against the flow of what was considered the right pedagogy would have been drawing attention. Plus we were gathered inside the college. And before I came here, it was called Wisdom Tree. And from Wisdom Tree, in my time, like I said, the Klamath Cherry Tree, it was like an umbrella of life. Everybody gathered under the tree. You know, I saw the animals, all the different animals, the crows, because I never forget the crows, the egrets were still here at the time, the egrets, the crows, we had the, the roaches, the scorpions, the spiders, the little poly lizards, the, the, the centipedes. We had the many birds that came and ate the cherry. And some of us would use the clammy cherry and make uh, all manner of juices and such. Hallelujah. So it was real tree of life. One day I just said, hey, this is tree of life. So in my generation, I kind of phrased tree of life, hallelujah. And we just kept going. Now, one of the things you'll notice about tree of life, like I said, we're actually in the city. So you're gonna hear city noise and noise of what a city is like. It's a college in the city. We've got four schools behind. Um, we are rather behind drama school. Then we have, to my immediate right, we've got art school. We've got dance and music school in the interior. Uh, we're at two auto wing drive just across from the LTM pantomime, Little Theatre, NDTC, National Dance Theatre Company and just down the road from a stadium. So we're actually in a central spot. And so over the years, as artists, we gathered here together, our spirituality together, our emotionality, our creativity, and we didn't even know the sense of purpose came into that to shape, you know, actuality. We lost some of our senior members, like all in one year, we lost three very important people. You know, we lost Dubmaster Lynch, we lost Sir Benjamin Wilson, we lost Ganja Ganjarai. You know, three amazing poets in their hallelujah own right, like just super amazing. And so over the years, we were kind of more known for revolutionary philosophies and poetry. But of course, we had musicians and, you know, we had a group early on, we called ourselves Ja Children. And then LSX, uh, after Ja Children broke apart in 2004, then we went from 2004 to 2014 as LSX, Link, Sage and X. And today I'm waiting to link up with X and you know, we go to do a poetry performance just down the road, you know. Uh, and it's just awesome when we can come to fruition under the tree of life and all the many consciousness come to one and you know, overstanding under the tree of life, you know. That was the awakening point perfectly aligned when Christ came forward and showed me that's the beauty, hallelujah, of tree of life. Because we have our own perceptions, each of us, coming from different walks of life, falling in different understanding, overstanding, understanding, and then being here, bringing it all together into harmony. So we got much resistance over the years from a lot of people who 
I guess didn't understand what our oversight, I wanted to oversight what we were about or what we were presenting or how we were presenting what we were presenting. So, you know, we got a lot of fight, even from, you know, school members, people in the administration and the executive, though there were others who supported us as well too. You know, I was able to, you know, enroll and audit the, the entire pedagogy of the college through the help of the principal and the college um, coordinator and administrators and it was really a very good experience, right? And I was able to see and structure a lot of the ideas which will come forward in the Trail Life Online Academy that we're working on currently for trillife.com. And so Trail Life meets trillife.com meets the digital age. When me and Lynch and many of the other Trail Life members used to sit here, ex Krishna, you know, was, you know what I mean? And so much more, you know what I mean? <laughs> we used to visualize and I would say create in our mind's eye a simulcast where we say we'll be at Trail Life on radio, television, and um, the internet. You know, we were saying that many years ago before we actually did it, and then reasons at the Trail Life and Sila Media with Raman, and uh, early on with Gerard and you know Bob and many others, and Adrian was a part of the old uh, Sila Media, um, and also Tristan. You know, because I said Trail Life is a lot. You know, Samantha and Jessica, and going way back to many of the early like Daniel and Oris and many others, right? We have to give thanks because it's been a long, beautiful, enduring journey. You know, Chantal, you have Bayless, give thanks. You know, you've been one of those original trail life as well too. And, you know, we've got to give thanks to Loy and Angie as true original. We've got to give thanks to Silent and Naris as true original. The trail life family of creative thinkers, creative poets, writers, you know, drummers, people like Bull, Ras Appa, yeah, and um, later on Bugsy, you know what I mean? Bugsy Anderson, right? Um, people like Rachel, you know, give thanks, you know, in the latter generation of Trail Life. And listen, we couldn't, we couldn't say them all, you know what I mean? Because it's really a long, long list. And many generations have passed through from the time of the original wisdom tree. You know, it's good that creativity has itself a grounding. You know, spirituality has unique, um, patterns in uh, what people say the Taj Mahal or, or the understanding that there's something that is constructed or is natural to humans that um, cause a fellowship, a gathering and Trail Life was always a gathering and those who understood know that they could come here and speak their deepest misunderstanding into clarity, hallelujah. They could forward, be initiated by the tree and by the, the sharing because sharing was the fundamental principle was one I developed, hallelujah by just being in sync and in tune. And I said, listen, this is a family. So we said triites, that's what we refer to ourselves. The Trail Life family referred to themselves as triites, right? Uh, so we basically cared for each other as a complete family. And for those who have children, or who had children over the years, their children would have to some degree grown up hallelujah around Trail Life, especially was and his children, you know? So many generations of us would have come through and seen, you know, Lynch's children, um, Cleona from she was a little baby to um, Tima, you know, I don't, uh, his, his son didn't get a chance to fall here as yet, you know, because he lives abroad, um, Lion, but you know, he's got Jamaica in him anyway, the soul of trail life, so we know that this is a matter of time. You know, over the years, if, if you didn't come to trail life, you couldn't really say you know, um, you know, Jerome or Sage, Hallelujah, Grandmaster, because to my left is the, is the main road. And it's a very um, open fencing in the sense that you can see through the fence, right? And so people can see easily us. And so normally they'll be shouting, you know, sometimes when we used to be here till hours of the morning, sometimes all night, they will be driving by and see a little fire burning. And they'll see it, Lynch, you know, to your life. And that energy reverberated to help me develop a sense of belonging because I didn't always have that hallelujah sense of belonging and there's what's um, passing right now. I didn't have that sense of belonging, right? And so this is a place where we develop that sense of belonging and like I said, it's good to have a place where fundamentally your creativity can come into the best alignment possible. I mean, for us, the beauty was we're in an arts college, the Edmund Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, the only one of its kind you know, in its time for the English-speaking Caribbean, established as a cultural training center in 1976 by Malachi Copper Reynolds, 
and um, Edna Manley, you know. But here it is, you know, a, a middle ground in the loudness of the city, a quietness of purpose can develop. We are surrounded by majestic avenues of creative expression. We've seen so much development, even in the space of Tree Life. We've seen a department built um, here at the back. We've seen a department built right here to my left. We've seen a covering right over the heavens up there, right? We've seen so much things change in terms of the college. This was the original entrance to this direction uh, to the entire college back in 1976. Right now we see they're putting a new entrance for many years and in the time of Birchell Duane we saw them make a ring road to circumnavigate, well a three-quarter ring road actually to circumnavigate the college and make it feel fluid and it was just amazing that he could conceptualize that and make it possible. It's a small space but with a lot of power and potential and if it wasn't for this place, professionalism in the arts, even in presentation because like I said, reasonings at the Tree of Life on Sila Media started right under the original Tree of Life that we were sitting that we call Tree of Life. Why we were up here now is because there was a little difference. When we said Tree of Life, the old Wisdom Tree members said the young people were running ahead of themselves and our reasonings were far outside of the context that they knew. And that was before we met Sir Benjamin Wilson. And when Sir Benny the Bard came forward now, we learned that there was deep metaphysics in the earlier tree of life, you know, as he's a stalwart after the college. He posed for the original George Hedley statue up at Independence Park, up at the stadium with the, the National Arena. So as I say, we're in a cultural spot, like literally walking distance. And I remember for many years, me and Lynch would walk from here to halfway tree, it's like about um, 35 minutes walk away on a good day, 45 on a slow. Uh, where we would basically go to all of the shows, the art shows, the dance art shows, the poetry shows, and 10 minutes up the road to the stadium, 50 minutes to the stadium, the Swallow Field, uh, to, to the foot of Beverly Hills. Yeah, many a nights, you know, we had to walk from poetry shows that we're doing at Beverly Hills, Texaco with Kevin Wallen and many others. There's a legacy that can never be undone, that can never be unwritten. You see, my journey has been 20 some odd years in this space, though. I kind of checked out at 2017 and came back for a brief time in 2020 to spend some time and then, you know, since then, you know, this is really my first time returning again to see like, you know, things have grown to some degree, things have been changed to some degree, but yet still the essence of, you know, as I came, I swept up the tree of life. This is something that we triites have to do because it's a part of the whole principle. You know, they fought us from lighting a fire because back in the day, we'd always light a fire, but you know, I have made history causing three fire brigades to come here to out of fire one day before, I think it was my 30 um, second birthday, I think. Uh, light a fire, and boy, was it an exciting thing, you know. But it was a bamboo fire and blazed out of control for a little bit. You know, bamboo, it burns down very fast, but it makes a lot of noise. So by the time they got here, it was a little fire. <laughs> but, you know, the, the people in the school were so, they were so worried, because this is like a historic and you know, ancient building to our culture, so they didn't really want any damage. But it really, really wasn't any damage that was coming along in any sense. You know, it was just, this is tree of life. You know, we used to cook here, sleep outside under the heavens before it had a cover. It had no cover during the time when we were really tree of life, you know? And we didn't have a little stage, because now there's a stage set up. Like I said, I'm gonna give a pan of tree of life to close out, so, you know, some of the environment is, is uh, got a little garbage pile, but this wouldn't have been here when we were here because, you know, would have been present and would have not only swept up, but would have insisted on the emptying of the garbage pile. But apart from that, Tree of Life looks good. Um, we've got the, the, the props department behind us. We look around and we've got, you know, the walkways up the tambourine tree, which was a development out of the original, what we call um, a wisdom tree that became Tree of Life. So the elders ended up moving up to Tambrin Tree and the system started cutting the climate cherry tree. And to be honest, sometimes it's not dead enough because we know that tree, hallelujah, will never die. Not, not by the hands of men. We've seen many people they have hired to cut that tree. And the tree has outlasted their employment in this college or their lives in case of some, right? 
So they cut it, but it keeps growing, they cut it, it keeps growing because it's symbolic. It's symbolic of a new pedagogy. And that's what your life is about. A new pedagogy, a new faculty of interpretation that Martin Mopton used to talk about. And Nabi, our senior teacher, always facilitates us having that interaction as young Rastafari with Martin Mopton. And everybody knows Martin Mopton was original um, teacher of Bob Marley in terms of the philosophy long before he met Lee Scratch Perry, right? So Martin Mopton is like the prophet of Rastafari. And, brought this message of the peculiar kind of man or spirituality because the dreadlock man, I guess, had many um, fearful connotations in the early part of Jamaica's so-called um, urban heritage, right, and urban history. So being in your life and being able to have access to Martin Mopana through Nabi Natural, that he was a fellow up at um, Arts and Humanities. He was up at, um, I forgot what they call that road, West Road, where the professors used to be. So he was in residency and we were able to go and visit and, you know, Nabi was one of his caretakers. And so that deep psychological, spiritual information about the heritage and evolution of Rastafari culture, we got a lot of that education myself and Dub Master Lynch. And Dub Master Lynch worked at the Institute of Jamaica for a while, dealing with um, linguistics and just the cultural continuation of our heritage, right? Um, especially in terms of teaching the younger generation, Dub poetry, performance art. So we were practically immersed in the process of you know, arts, and I did arts management as my um, course that I audited in pedagogy, to be able to even facilitate myself being able to do you know, the same kind of functional, structural, um, integritous information in terms of pedagogy. It's a new faculty of interpretation. Uh, our sense of self and the increase of knowledge has practically rendered old modus operandi of the mercantile practically obsolete. So, our progenitors in terms of those who robbed our estate on a numb de gear operating through um, fraudulent policies, names, and under rights of claim, not just sanguinous rights of blood. We also lost a lot of the de jure policies to de facto because of government, um, of a monarchical structure, of a mercantile structure rather. Um, sanctioned under the conquest of our Aboriginal empires by, you know, Rome and the Roman Curia and through doctrines of discovery, we lost a lot of the sacredness of how we interpreted our own self-activities towards educating our generation towards a continuity in cultural, right, and tradition and traditional understanding. We knew that they were lost and we were at a loss because we were given this African-esque type of information and we knew through study that you know, we had the Moor, the empire of Moor, M-U-U-R, and the subsequent Sultanate and the Caliphates to the Moorish Hallelujah Empire in the Americans, the islands of Atlantis, Jamaica being a surviving member, just like all of the other members of the so-called Caribbean. We being of the three Indies, the so-called Amerindians, you know, uh, the Ethiopic, we are the Aboriginal. And socio-political, geopolitical reclassification under shackle slave and Nomdegir policies like reclassifying um, prisoners of war and their heirs under titles such as black, colored, African Americans and all manner of non-national titles, destroying our autonomous heritage, removing from us our titles and claim to a Tahino heritage, which is the claim and right of sanguinous and um, consanguinity to our estates. We are heirs to our last estate. Doctrines of discovery has been repudiated by the so-called popes of Rome. So now the legal proceedings should take place now for a reorientation of our psyche, as well as the re-understanding through repeopling the thought process with new information. And that repeopling is actually referring to ourselves under the autonomous policies, not just looking at ourselves as some product that came through shackle slavery. There's a, percent, there's a percentile of us who are truly of African origin, but you cannot substantiate an African heritage for all Amer Hamakans because we are Aboriginals, so-called Amerindians, right? Atlanteans from the past age, children of the land of Lemuria, Mu, or whatever name you want to call it by. We have been here for generations upon generations and we have seen lifetimes upon lifetimes. Though we have been conquered, reconquered by our own and now by invaders from outside, those who left and returned, as my ancestors have told me several times, I've said on Sila Media when we started doing these videos to resensitize people in the new pedagogy. And so a lot of people look under the, the term of Yashua Mashiach or some will look under the 
the Christian or the mercantile terms through Jesus Christ of Nazareth referred to to the Roman um, Curian, but we are not of the Roman Curian, are we under the jurisdiction of the Roman state, the Roman state. We are of the Caliphate, we are of the true and ancient empires, right? We are of the right and true kingdom. And as heirs to Hallelujah or Aboriginal heritage, the new pedagogy involves this repeopling of our perceptions, right? The Mayan scripts, the Mayan appearance being miscalled African because it's Aboriginal. The earth was one before the crack in the time of Peleg, the Bible mentioned. Many people call it the time of destruction or flood or the cataclysms, but we were one. So we can substantiate easily the hapala blood work and blood group, but a lot of us are not in the same blood group or a lot of people they call um, African or so-called African. People are not represented by some kind of race instinct or ethnic terminology, but we are legally referred to under nationality. And so when your nationality has been um, skewered, disoriented, and confused by invaders, you cannot operate legally under any such title as Jamaicans or all of these titles they give us, Nigerian, Senegalese, you know, Colombian, Trinidadian, um, St. Vincent, Barbadian, Colombian, Brazilian, Argentinian, Uruguayan, Paraguayan, right? These are all titles given to us by uh, the Curians of Rome who have conquered and subjugated uh, prisons of war and subsequently their ears, robbing us of our estates, stealing the just sanguinous rights into their rights of claim. Some married falsely, falsely and through vehemently vicious means into our bloodlines to take the claim of blood and to have the rights to our lands and estates. But in all cases, it is not so. And we can cast the Edens out of our blood and return our blood to sacred and consanguineous rights. So we can continue having that. The creative empires will always lead the way because the inspiration comes through uh, the springs which are within thee. And the Psalms refer, Psalms of David refer to us through our heritage that we are really the voice, the mouthpiece of our ancestors, hallelujah, of the ancients of days. And we cry out for liberation, for reorientation into a true and living status, for the reclamation of the first to the second, Adam in Yahshua Mashiach in Jesus Christ, that we be beacons of light, return to our principle, principal understanding of being of the divine right and having proper place, not classified under grim law as dead property. We are the more upon the land. And this authentic authentication needs to be recognized, accepted, repeopled in the thought process through the democratization of thought. Don't just take in garbage and junk, taking valuable information, information that is of true worth, that builds your generations to the philosophies that will then become behaviors, that will then become the way of life, the fundamental structures you will construct to preserve family heritage, to have descendability unto the seventh and eighth generations uh, of your bloodline and kin. These are some of the principles of early tree of life and we're still maintaining these principles. And as creative um, ambassadors, I myself, Talakul the Great, all as they used to call me Grandmaster Sage, you know, has been the head for tree of life for a very long time, even though we've had a circular process of information but I've been the one that has been looked upon, hallelujah, to harmonize, been harmonizing and been working. So when I forward to the Christ consciousness to Yahshua Mashiach, I kind of went on my own path, Raman Singh followed with me, Bob the Mystic followed, and also Gerard had forwarded with me, but many others had stayed on their independent path of thinking. And so we kind of evolved out of here in 2017 because the administration had gotten so negative against us. I kind of went on the road. Now, seven years later, from starting reasoning right at the Chair Life on Sila Media, Chair Life Television Network transitioning into ChairLife.com has now been representing the true value of Tree Alive, not Tree of Life, Tree Alive. And so Tree Alive is here back in its proper alignment. I don't know when last I've done a video really at the Tree Alive, but this is the reawakening to the new day of tree of life hallelujah and we hope to make this more often we will be hope to make this more manifest that the next time we're here vibing we have our musical instruments and the philosophical and the spiritual and the spirit of the ruach hallelujah and the power of the breath and the power of yudhe vavhe in jesus christ of nazareth to look at our heritage 
through all the different our Tatinos Aboriginal spiritualities as we used to and bring clarity of understanding to our people. That advanced my thinking, that made me have so much information to share that I could share for seven years before my transition from Sila Media fully to cheerlife.com, right? And the information at Sila Media is still there and also continue to subscribe to the Chia Life channel, Chia Life Television Network. I have tons of videos released with a lot of anthropomorphic, anthropological information as well as ancestral information about the heritage of ourselves as Tainos, as people upon the plain terra firma. You know, it's a lot of information that have come through through your life. And going to, to the college, to Faculty of Education and Liberal Studies, to audit the pedagogy, and now transitioning to cheerlife.com, cheerlife online academy, you know, presenting my own pedagogy and the whole psychomatics of world person, health and education. You know, this is, as I say, the repeoplings of our perception. And I'm looking forward to those who will log on, you know, subscribe to cheerlife.com, take advantage of the services. We started core clothing here at Cheerlife, me and Christopher Grandson many years ago. Now we're going forward from core clothing to um, Trail Life Apparel. We have the Black Sun, we have the Elite Sun, we have many lines on the Trail Life now. Chris is developing his own line as well too. And so we always have this futuristic, futurism, comfortable, functional clothing. And you know, we always wanted to put cold cathode lighting in clothing at the chakra points. And this was always our ideas. And many people, we didn't have, know that we didn't have the technology at the time. The technology has grown. Some people have tried it out, but you know, they always say investment is the key. But when we speak our things, people assume that, you know, we ain't going nowhere or that we're too whatever we are to have the quiet level of success. And some people ghost us, some people have avoided us. But I know very much one thing. If I didn't have this experience, then it would not have substantiated a lot of the education that I was given by previous entrepreneurs and scholars and masters who had attempted some not being successful, some being successful. This journey to a uh, new form of productivity outside of the mercantile, mercantile three-fifths human constructs for Aboriginal. You know, we are happy when they have succeeded, but they told me that many would, um, they didn't say ghost, <laughs> that's a new term, right? Many would um, turn their backs and avoid and pretend not to hear, would take up jealousy or take up some kind of personal envy rather than see the bigger picture of what is possible if we all invested in our visions and our dreams for this ultimate grand outcome of being able to get this quality Aboriginal information to the people who need it most, our own people across all the diaspora, to get that rhythm and tempo, the forward in the new age, welcoming the current age where culture is synonymous with the sense of identity, not towards nation state, as Alice Lassie I said, but towards a sense of a true community, a global community of individuals who are harmonized as a family, family of truth, family of love, family towards a greater good. What good has your spirituality done when you have not become more loving, more kind, more caring, and more respectful, more responsible. So the beauty of the gift of Chia Life, or oh, awesome it is for many consciousness to come to one understanding, and that is love, hallelujah, agape love, under the Chia Life. And we can overcome and destroy these monitoring spirits that appear to subjugate and confuse and distract and disorientate. We give thanks for this overwhelming spirit of peace and truth and understanding that lifts us up to true value. Tree of life is still here as we were before, not in the metaphysical abstractions in Keta to Malhut, but in the true and living principle of the endocrine system, yeah? that which is through the, the pituitary, the hypothalamus, the vagus nerves that sensitizes emotions into dopamine, serotonin, melatonin, eating, sleeping, and drinking in harmonization of love, the true principles of what your life brings. Yeah, the true light of the life of the Amashiach, of the ancients, hallelujah, of days, in principle, in principle, and in educated functionality. We've got these as study packages because they are the new pedagogy, hallelujah, as I said. True words, for many who want to be vexed, yeah, class is divine, not a matter of adaptation. So for those of us who are classic and classified in the divine realms, are qualified, hallelujah, just like Elisha and Elijah to carry forward the fire of his light, the anode cathode fire of extinction against darkness and misappropriation of wisdom. No wisdom comes in its true form, yeah, in the Sophia, the sophistication of purpose in the correction of etymology and nomenclature, yeah, for the right alignment 
of the living world because this world is living, it's alive, it is unto the transforming, the renewing of the mind, being and entire auric fields. And that's true alive. And that's why I am. You know, Talaku, hallelujah, the great old. Yeah, your master teacher, right here. Reasonings at the tree alive. Continue to love, like, subscribe, and sharing these videos. And contrary to popular beliefs, tree alive will find true alignment in cyberspace. And eventually, tree alive television network you'll find us you'll find us in the right timing you'll find us in the right place and you will share it because the day is coming when the inner ears will be opened up into the heart chakra not only will you hear but in heartbeat telegraphics one of our, our, our courses you'll understand just we teach the fullness the wholesomeness of the whole person whole person health and education double p o and e our double P and E, sorry, whole person, health and education. It's been a while since I did the acronym. But in this truth and understanding, there is a subtleness. No need to be overwhelmed, just to be thankful. So until next time, tell the great all reasons right to the trail life. Like, share, subscribe, the trail life experience. Much love, light, and blessings. Yeah? Remember, you're a gift to yourself, an awesome gift to your environment. Continue to be in the Amashiach.